You're watching Drake Queen Gaming. Enjoy the video. Hey guys and gals, Nary here from Drake Wing Gaming. It's something you know me on Twitter, the gaming drag. Today I'm coming back at you with a Let's Play episode of Dawn Chorus, and this time we're delving back into Jorgen's Path. Anyway, y'all, let me see if I can remember which one Jorgen's Path is, because there are so many of these paths. There's so many sweet boys in this game. There we go, y'all. Found Jorgen. Let's go ahead and jump right back into it, shall we? Alarm Chen, you are up, and let's go. All right. If you listen hard enough, you will find it yourself. Actually, you know what? We're going to go back a little bit. Just a little recap of this part right here, because I really like it. Okay. Yeah. I open my snout to voice my surprise, but his paw finds it and holds it shut. He slides under the duvet next to me, still holding my snout in his paw firmly as if to make sure I get the message. Slowly, he releases it, looking at me intensely, his two silvery eyes shining like twin moons. I stay motionless not knowing how to react or what he might want from me. I just look at him, and he stares back intensely, as if trying to gaze into my very soul. Finally, he puts both his paws on my chest and pulls himself close, his head fitting just below mine, pressed against my neck. He clings to me with his whole body, just like he did a few hours ago, back in my room. I wrap my arm around him, keeping him close. Some strange longing awakens within me. I want to keep him close like that, safe from the outside. I want to shield him from any harm. We can stay like that, melting into each other. His delicate paws are so soft on my chest, so innocent. Rested against me, he relaxes completely. We're ships at sea, drifting in all directions. We're dreadnoughts, fighting for survival. The wind blows relentlessly, pulling us apart. We crash into each other, fumbling around. We try to keep ourselves in one piece, but the gunfire never stops. Sometimes there's nothing we can do. We can only move across the surface, hoping we can stay afloat. When the static rises, the deafening silence before the storm, the tension is too much to bear. But there's comfort in others' arms. There's sunshine after the storm, and there's a silence that's never disturbed. And if you listen hard enough, you will find it yourself. That's cuties. Day three. Oh, yeah. Bow chicka wow wow. I don't know. Snowflakes fall on my unfurled tongue, melting immediately. The warm glow seeps through the thin cover of clouds, and I bask in it, feeling it spread over my body. It's so good to be outside. My legs hurt from sitting for half the day, and I desperately need a coffee, but even just being back in the daylight instead of a stuffy lecture hall wakes me up. Okay, everyone, please gather here. Do you hear me well? Please, quiet. We have something important to tell you. Oh, sorry, y'all. Anyway, uh, thanks, Devin. Professor Arn cleared his throat, his voice suddenly loud and commanding but clear like morning air. Thank you, everyone, for participating in today's lectures. If you feel like discussing any of the topics covered today in more detail, we will be holding a seminar in the cafeteria before supper. The returning bustle departed 1700 from the same spot we arrived at this morning. That should give us That should give you plenty of time. Remember, we'll be here tomorrow as well. No need to rush to see everything in one day. For now, you're free to do whatever you feel like. Thank you. Please don't be late. We won't be happy if we have to wait for you. Finally, I thought it'd never end. The lectures weren't that long. They were. But I wanted free time already. I wanted to see the town. We have about three hours, This and this place isn't big. There's tomorrow, too, so we can take it slow. Did you make any plans already? I want to see the main street. There's a gallery art space at the port in one of the unused buildings. I wanted to check that out. It seems like a properly cool place. How about you? Oh, I didn't do I didn't do much research. I'm fine with tagging along, though I need to get some food in me first. I think I stopped feeling hunger around the penultimate lecture and just fell into this numbness of energy conservation mode. Needless to say, my needless to say, my state is dire. Hey, what are you doing? Rune approaches us as we chat, looking around, and I see that almost everyone is dispersed by now, leaving us, him, Devin, and Arn only. Hey, we're wondering what to do. I think I'll go grab some food first. Oh, I know just the place. There's a tea house here I wanted to visit. I looked at their menu, and they have Indian Indian dishes, too. You mentioned it yesterday. I'd be happy to go, but I don't know about the rest of the group. Y'all? Sounds good, as long as it's not prohibitively, prohibitively expensive. 
If we make it quick, we might have time for walking backward. And walking afterwards. Walking backwards. Ah, what the hell? Why not? Great, we can go then. It's so nice here. Lake walks a few steps behind us, enchanted, eyes clinging to every building we pass. The smaller towns here are always charming. People oh, here, people here really care about how they look. It's like an elk water time. Oh, yeah. That's the stuff. Okay. Oh, Rune, how did it go with the project yesterday? He looks cheerful, but something in his voice, quieter and more insured today, makes me feel like there's something wrong. I left it as is. Maybe, it all, maybe I'll get back to it today with some fresh ideas. So, here we are. This is it. Through narrow streets lined with colorful houses, some brick, some wooden, we've made our way from the center to the heart of an even livelier but cozier district full of cafes and small stores. I love it. I have to go out here later and get lost in all the winding alleys and squares. It makes me think of some magical medieval fantasy. Something straight out of a computer game, almost. Oh, it looks quite unassuming. I was afraid it'd be a snobbish place. Snobbish? Why would it be? G has this sort of connotation. And suddenly the smell of cooking reaches us. The mouth-watering aroma of garlic, tomatoes, and spices. So many of them in such a high intensity that my nose can't pick them apart. My stomach reacts with a sharp pang of hunger. Once again reminding me how empty it is. Oh, it smells heavenly. It really does. Ugh. So, are we coming in? Any objections? None. And now get in before I collapse from hunger. One by one we enter, Rune closing the door. The inside is dim and hushed, the smells of tea and incense a stark contrast from the cardamom and cumin we smelled outside. The muted sounds of a bustling kitchen float from behind a wooden door at the back of the shop. Behind the counter is a yak wearing a linen shirt, his large posture partially obscuring shelves with a dizzying amount of tree amount of teas, just rows and rows of tins and bags. So warm, finally. A uh, good into my dog. A uh, good into my dog. Vestilio V. R. L. with Bordet. Pa Bordet. Dagger's richer star patavlin her bort. Ah, talk. Guys, today's dishes are on the board over there, and we can order at the table. I glance at the board, but I don't recognize any of the names, even though it's in both English and Norwegian and some other language I don't know. China doll, okra, roti, kitri. Nope, none of these ring a bell. I guess I'll just ask Rune. Oh. Oh, only a few dishes. That's always a good sign. Do you have a table for the four of us? Oh, yes, we have a few left in the main room. Uh, sit down and I'll bring you the menus. Uh, thank you. Uh, one menu in Norwegian, three in English. Uh, two in Norwegian, please. The main room is big and still mostly full. This place is quite obviously popular with the locals. Still, the, with people lounging around, some drinking tea and with a few with and with a few metal and a few a few with metal plates with rice and some curry, it feels quiet and cozy. We find a table at the opposite side, at a window facing a small square with a fountain covered in snow. Before we sit down, I quickly snap a pic of it through the window, pressing the lens to the window pane. Here you are. The act guy drops his four menus with a wide smile, heading back to the counter. They seem nice. Very. I wonder where they're from. They had quite a heavy accent. The shirt makes me think of Nepal, but maybe they just brought it here for the effect. It fits this place, certainly. I really like it here, by the way. I haven't been in any places like this one my whole life. Like, no, it is water time. Oh, yeah. Like this? You mean a tea house? Disoriental, I mean. Half the tables don't have chairs and people sit on the floor. Oh, yeah, that's one of the nicest features of tea houses. I wouldn't do this to you, though. I tried to convince Devin to try them, and he didn't want to go out anywhere else with me for a week. Oh, hmm. This place isn't cheap. Not the tea selection, at least. I grab the menu. Turns out to be more of a book. There's pages and pages and pages of all kinds of teas and infusions and drinks. Most of them I don't even know, let alone the individual teas listed. I guess I have to ask Rune about these, too. And indeed, the prices are rather high. A teapot of any green tea costs almost as much as a whole dinner. So, do you know what you want? Uh, no. Ah, first time in a tea house? Yeah, the names of the dishes seem very cryptic, too. Ah, I see. From what I saw, they serve complete meals here, so you get a rice and roti. That's a sort of Norwegian whole grain, it's a sort of whole grain flatbread. A vegetable dish and a doll of your choice. A doll is a dish from, from legumes that go together with the main vegetable one. 
They had okra curry and aloo gobi. That's potatoes and cauliflower in a tomato sauce. I recommend the latter. Not everyone finds okra palatable. But personally, I'm a fan. And they have only one doll today. I ran out of the others. Enchanted is chickpeas. Everything sounds great. I'm not really sure what to order. Maybe I could go with okra curry. I've had okra before and liked it. I want both, but you're taking okra already, so I'll get aligobi and try the okra from you. One bite. One? One. I already chose my dish, so I'm going through the never-ending list of teas looking for anything I'd recognize. Mm-hmm. About the teas, anything you'd recommend? What are oolongs? Ah, those are nice. They're somewhere between black and green teas, usually with whole leaves tightly rolled into small balls. Their tastes range from flowery and subtle to a, to a milky or buttery, or even roasted and woody. You can, you can brew them many times, sometimes up to like six, and still have a lot of flavor in each brew. So you can get more than one brew, for, a brew of these here? Yeah, look here. The number, the number of teapots next to the next to the price is the amount the brews they serve with each tea. If you've never been to a tea house before, then I suggest we take a few different types of each one and share them. Sounds perfect. Yes. Okay, so how about one green tea, one oolong, and one black? Hmm, I'm curious about this one. Uh, I have the. I'm saying sushong. I point out at the menu at one of the tea that has caught my attention. Lapsang Sushong. Are you sure? Processed over a fire of pine logs giving it a specific aroma. A solid black brown leaf a black brown leaf and an infusion with a strong aroma of fire and smoky taste. That sounds so weird. I can't imagine how a smoky tea would taste. We can take that one too. I thought about taking something simple and light so you can dip your fingers into all this, but if you want something with a strong impression, then I choose Gyokuru for the green tea. I have no idea what it is, so sure? Are you ready to order? Yes, thank you. We'll take Zin, we'll take Zin Zhuang Yulong, Lapsang Sushong, Yokuru, and maybe Jarjiling Autumnal. We only have first and second flush at the moment. I'm sorry. Ah, first flush then, please. And I'll take the set with Oak Curry. And for me, a set with Elagobi. The same for me. And I will take a set with Okra Curry. Oh, okay. Thank you. Is that all? Yes, thank you. So, how did you like the today's lectures? The lectures were absolutely fantastic. I don't know where they found them, but I haven't heard anyone talk about science this passionately. You could feel that it's their whole life. I like the one about the future of space exploration. The lecturer had such a soft voice, and the seats in that lecture hall were so comfortable. I think that was the only time during oh, the only one which I managed to fall asleep during. They were nice, but I wish they provided some food during the break. I didn't know it was supposed to bring my own snacks. There, there. The dinner's almost here. Here's your food. The same guy comes back holding a huge tray, and on it, four metal dishes, each with a huge heap of food on it. That smell reaches us, mouth-watering and so delicious, of spices, fresh chili and ginger, of coconut and fresh bread. As Rune said, each plate put before us is two different dishes. A mound of rice, some red sauce, a cucumber salad, then a flat, round bread, dark in color. I'll bring your teas in a minute, in, in minutes. Your teas in ten minutes. Hey, please enjoy the food in the meantime. The hepper did smocker. Okay. Wow, that's a lot. It looks so good. I take a spoonful of the curry and try just a bit, worrying it might be too spicy, but no, it's delicate and full of flavor. But totally mild. Oh, this is good. Oh yeah, this doll is just perfect. Jorgen, can I have my bite? Go ahead. Oh, I think I don't like okra. It's slimy. Well, I warned you. Good thing I got the potato curry. It's really delicious. This really is a nice place. Now I wish we had something similar in Anzlo serving both food and tea. And if they'd have a scene here, that, that would be easily the nicest tea, the nicest spot I've ever been in. A scene? Yeah, they could invite bands playing traditional music to live in the evening, to, uh, to play live in the evenings. Wouldn't that be cool? I don't know how many traditional bands are here. Can't be too many. But yeah, live music is the best. Ah, oh, right. You're in a band. Do you play often? It's more of a project than a regular band. We don't have we don't have rehearsals. We meet on the stage whenever a venue wants to host us and play whatever if we feel like at the moment, which is usually industrial or noise. We're regulars at one venue in the industrial district. It's anarchist led and let us play once a month. It's a lot of fun. Sounds awesome. What do the bands play there? Lately, it's mostly shoegaze and chill wave. The latter seems to be going through a revival, and the former is always popular. It's the easiest thing to play if you're an alternative kid and grab a guitar. I like it, usually. 
Oh. Alright guys and gals, I'm gonna go ahead and pause it right there. Thank y'all so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, bring that notification bell. It is super thanks. Your tip if you can, it always helps. Until the next video, I love you all. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.